Okay, Sixaga, I am Dr. Letitia Hutton Backfat. For those who don't know me, I'm from Sixaga Nation. My parents are Betty Backfat Hutton and Ron Hutton, and my grandparents are the late Philip and Jean Backfat. My Blackfoot name is Nidates Nyebaki. I practice as a family physician here at the Sixaga Health and Wellness Center in Sixaga and in Calgary at the South Health Maternity Wellness Clinic in South Health Campus Labor and Delivery. I'm reaching out to everyone from my office here in Sixga as I would like to share with you some information about COVID-19 in Sixga. This is a very important topic for our community and accurate information can help keep us healthy and encourage us to look out for one another. Since March 24th, the community health team has investigated 150 individuals with COVID-19 like symptoms. 137 of those cases have been closed with 13 individuals still receiving daily follow-up. 127 individuals have been tested for COVID-19. There have been 121 negative tests with six results still pending and three new individuals who still require testing. To date, there have been no positive COVID-19 cases identified in Sixga, and infection is spreading more slowly because of our joint efforts to keep away from other people outside our household and by following other public health guidance. However, COVID-19 infection will eventually reach Sixga, and we must keep our efforts up, as difficult as they may be. We must continue to prepare for when it arrives in Sixga do our best to slow down how quickly it spreads and try to protect the people who are at highest risk, our elders and people with chronic medical conditions like heart disease, lung disease, and diabetes. There are things you can do to protect yourself and others. If you are sick with symptoms of runny nose, sore throat, fever, cough, or shortness of breath, stay home and call the COVID response unit or CRU at 403 734-3829, which is available seven days a week. The CRU offers testing in your home and by drive-through. You should call to arrange testing if you testing. If you need to see a doctor, you can also call the medical clinic at 403-734-5690 during business hours. The test for COVID-19 is now a throat swab, which is quick and it's not painful at all. It may cause a little bit of gagging, especially in young children, but this is no different than a throat swab done when people have a sore throat. You actually may have had this done in the past with a sore throat. If someone is un unable to get a throat swab, a nasopharyngeal swab can be done, which is also quick, but may be a bit more uncomfortable. This swab takes about 10 seconds. It's a thin, flexible swab that goes through the nose and can cause a bit of coughing. It's very important that Sixagawa with symptoms get tested for COVID-19 because this will help our Sixaga medical team identify when COVID-19 reaches Sixaga. And then we can work with affected families to ensure they are cared for and to limit the spread in the community. Please let's continue to all do our part. As with any healthcare encounters or testing, your personal information is kept confidential. Who gets tested and test results are kept confidential by public health. When a person is tested, the community health nurse will follow up daily by phone to monitor the health of the person and the entire household. Everyone in the household is asked to stay home until test results are available. Test results are usually available within a couple days. Everyone should stay home to reduce the risk to others in the community in case the COVID-19 test is positive. To help everyone stay home, assistance is available to deliver food, essential supplies, and medications. For healthy people, stay home as well as much as possible and stay away from others outside of your household. Do not visit other people's homes. Limit travel to other places, including essential travel to the grocery store. It is okay to go outside and please do, for example, to exercise or to lift your spirits as long as people from outside your household remain two meters away at all times. It is also important we take care of each other during this difficult time. Reach out to support family and friends who may be experiencing loneliness and social isolation. Together we can get through this. 
Sixagawa are a strong and resilient people. This is a time for us to recognize and deeply respect our connections and do everything we can to take care of one another in a good way. For more information, visit Sixagawa Health Services Facebook page. Thanks everyone.